So hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. I don't know how much time I'll have to stream today because uh, Cinco de Mayo means drunk idiots everywhere. So we'll see how this goes, but it's one of the uh, only times I might get to stream this week due to construction and scheduling conflicts and yay. Thankfully, there's not a whole lot of events going on at the moment. Um, I do believe the last one that was going ended. We're kind of in a little bit of a lull, um, and I know that's partially due to things going on in China at the moment, Shanghai in particular. I wish everybody the best, and I'm totally down with taking a break. I've personally been just playing Final Fantasy XII in the background in my own time. So what we are going to do today, since nothing else is really going on, is plunge back into the chasm. And uh, see if we can get that quest wrapped up and ready for Sumeru whenever it comes out. Uh, may the developers take their time. But let's see. A small-scale mining operation at Catherine's instruction, a miner commissions you to investigate certain anomalies within. So I also recorded a part in my own time where I cleared out a lot of the quests on top of the chasm. So that'll come out before this. But we also, let's see... That wanted us to collect eight shining mushrooms. I know I needed a few more and needed them to respawn. And then there is one for heavenly stone debris. To get to even deeper levels of the chasm, you must open the path that was blocked by large stones. Back when the mine was sealed, looks like you'll have to borrow the power of the mountainator this time. So that was... We were working on the cannon, and then I remember I developed like a really severe migraine... Ah, yes, because I've only spelunked half of this. I have to... I do remember I when I did most of this, like I said, I didn't even realize it was happening yet because my vision was only going fuzzy. But I was starting to develop a migraine and feel really sick. And it lasted most of the day. Which sucked. So it's actually a really good thing I signed off when I did. I kind of started feeling woozy. Thought it'd be good, a good idea to sign off. And then as soon as I did, like, it's like my brain just exploded with pain. So I haven't been down here since, so I may have forgotten a few things about this place. I know we need this little lantern thingy in here somewhere. The what's its putts? Uh, adjuvant. Let's see. Adjuvant. Adjuvant. So there have been a couple other quests in the meantime. I've cleared out um, Seire Island. I cleared out the top of the chasm. His dark meds look super thick and gross. The adjuvant. adjuvant we have doesn't look like it's strong enough. <laughs> so we'll need to raise the level on that. Insufficient lumenstone energy. Oh, there's a another quest. Seriously? Kind of forget what all I'm even looking for. The people from Liwe have left their large cannon behind. It shows sign of maintenance. It seems that they have not given up on reopening the mine. Scout the area where the crystal fragment was found, clearing paths for others to follow before returning here to wait further orders. The sonic catcher is reacting to a great pulse coming from deep within the mine. It is a grand but dull noise. According to the sample analysis, the crystal may be older than the chasm itself. However, we have not found any systemic signs of an ancient civilization nearby.
I know I didn't stream a whole lot this week either. And my camera control is backwards. Over there, please don't attack us. But TV? I thought that was Paimon saying that. But yeah, my camera control is backwards for up and down because uh, Final Fantasy XII is backwards. So, sorry if that gets messed up during this. Ooh, hello, slime. Let's see here. I would have loved to stream more this week, but I couldn't. Anton, Ninth Company. Sorry to stop you if you're in a hurry. I'm Staff Sergeant Anton Linkov, the acting CEO of the Ninth Company. Just call me Anton. They are Delina, Temer, Radomir, and uh, Romanowski. He's not here. He's at the medical camp. Neither Romanowski nor the medical camp remains. Antaha... Romanowski didn't make it through the morning. Danila, how many times have I told you I'm in charge of the company now? Call me Staff Sergeant Anton. Huh. <laughs> in charge of the company as a Staff Sergeant? Who do you think you are? Ever since the captain went missing, you've been acting like an important-looking CO. Huh. <laughs> That's enough, Timur. Your growling stomach must have messed with your judgment. Calm down and preserve your energy. <laughs> it's acting CO, Antoa. Acting CO, my foot. Just for how long do we have to take orders from this fake CO who doesn't even know what he's doing? Hey, Timur, your brain must be intoxicated with hunger. I suggest you take a few punches to sober up. Suits me. Go ahead. Come at me and I'll help you sober up too. Great. After running out of rations, we're also saying goodbye to our sanity and patience. Splendid. Draining every last ounce of energy we have here. What an enlightened course of action. Silence. If you're itching for a fight, then go down and fight the monsters that came from the black mud. And don't you forget to fight them with your growling stomach, too. If we want to live and walk out of here alive, we must stick together. Don't make me repeat myself, okay? Alright, give me a if not us, then who on three. One, two, three. If not us, then who. If not us, then who. Uh, so my friend, you must have noticed that, uh, we're not very combat effective at present. There's been a small issue. <laughs> small issue. You certainly like- you certainly talk like the captain. Since he's not here, I'm the acting commander. Now why don't you shut that clever mouth of yours? Sorry, my friend. We're in dire need of your help. Since when have we become friends? Why would I want to help you? Ready for combat? <laughs> Fine then, I can help you surrender. What do you want? Supplies, weapons, intel, or mora. We've plenty of them. Take them all if you like, so long as you help us. Uh, look, our beggar CO just took on the most humiliating job ever, losing the last ounce of dignity we've left on our behalf. Knock it off already. Are you expecting to fill your tummy with bitter sarcasm? Join our ranks. Let our marching boots shake the earth like thunder. You will march up towards the pole star of the white knight come. We shall never abandon you. Oh, someone shut him up already. Uh, although they're bad guys, seeing them all famished certainly makes Paimon feel sorry for him. Uh, it shames me to admit this, but as you can see, we're no longer combat effective in the at least. All we want is some food. And then? No other agendas? You can enjoy a scrumptious meal in prison, you know. Well, we'll leave and never return. I promise you, on the honor of the Ninth Company on our ancestors who defended the land of Shneznaya. Oh, you poor thing. How famished, how pathetic. Enough of that. You're no better anyway. Anyway, there were 64 of us when we arrived. 64 in total. Now there are only four starving souls left. What other purpose would we be capable of accomplishing? Whoa, how did you end up like this? That's not the topic for now. Without food, at least four left of the Ninth Company could be gone at any moment. Tell me your purpose first. Alright, let's build a bit of trust here first, shall we? Well, I'll say this. Whatever doubt you may have, the only purpose we have here is to investigate the source of the calamity in the chasm. What calamity? I'm seen no sign of it in the chasm. The calamity that happened 500 years ago is only the beginning. The war against the dark has never stopped, and one of its battlefields is right beneath our feet. Our staff sergeant CEO is so hungry that he started to talk some crazy stuff. 
He always likes to exaggerate, but this is the first time he's talked nonsense. Forget it. What Toha means is that when the people of Liyue are no enemy to us. At least not in this operation. Nato is here in the Ninth Company, but I'm not so sure how our comrades who went missing might perceive the matter. I'll be on the account of humanity, but just this once. Thank you. We'll be forever grateful. And that's a good thing I'm a walking picnic. Please consider a request. Here's the food you wanted. That's it? Uh... That's really it, huh? Do I just... Uh, no, nope. <laughs> um, I don't know if they have any way of cooking it. So they're Russian, so let's do potato. Anthony Traver, have you forgot what secrecy even means? Also, don't hog all the food. Wait, there's no need to fight. There's no time for catching up. Let's just out the beatings. I was expecting like a cooked dish. I, will end I chose potatoes because I thought they would help survive the journey and you can cook them a multitude of ways. Okay, who's... Oh my gosh, nice. Kill your own shield by jumping into the lake. You Leave talked hot shit the most, and now you are the most embarrassed. Oh my god, this dude. Mind your business. Have a blade in a week, so I'm probably rusty. Oh, I only had to take out the one? I didn't take him out? I didn't take them all out. There was still Geo in the back. I was gonna come for him next. Oh, I'm sorry, but there's a small issue with our chain of command. A small issue? We just betrayed our men by standing here as we watched someone else chase them off. Then what do you suggest we did? Let them beat us up and have our food snatched away? Zip that mouth of yours shut and focus on eating. Antaha, stop downplaying this. Our chain of command has been wiped out. It's gone. Our captains and other higher-ranking CEOs have gone missing or got killed. That leaves us no other choice but to retreat. But many of our men refuse to do so. They'd rather hold on to what's left behind by our CEOs and fight to the last man standing. I'd say it's starved to the last man standing, according to the collaboration agreement. People up there are supposed to relay orders and supply us with food, but we haven't heard from them in a long time. We're loyal to the Fatui and Lord Harbingers, as we should be, but we're no fools. Anyone sensible would have long suggested that we re retreat under such circumstances, so what's your plan? I know this isn't your concern, and I won't stop you if you want to leave, but we really are out of our depth and could use your help. Uh, what do you need me to do? I'm not supposed to tell you this, but there's a supply station near the ground level. All our supplies go through there, and we sometimes get orders there too. We sent a few men up for food, but they haven't returned. I can't afford to risk another trip. No one has come down from the supply station for a long time, either. I hope you can check the situation there for me. I'll help. I'm so sorry to trouble you, but we need to know what's happening on the ground. Otherwise, any decisions we might make might be too rash. Okay, okay. You're starting to confuse Paimon with all this convoluted talking. We'll look for it when we pass by. Eat your potatoes. Company vanishing into the deep. Let's see. Don't seem combat able. How far away is that? That one's gonna be up there. It might actually be easier for me to go up here real quick. Huh? 
I also can't help but th- wonder when they writ this because it kind of relates to current events. This should be the camp the Fatui were talking about. Looks like there's no one here anymore. Emergency announcement from the secretary at Ewing, Eugene Terrace. The malignant and destructive incident recently occurring at the Jade Chamber has proved that the Fatui are dangerous and untrustworthy. The collaboration agreement with Shnez Naya has been nullified. The Liwei Chising will take over the exploration of the chasm. The middle list shall not make contact with any member of the Fatui. Violation of this rule will result in immediate arrest without clemency. What's with this letter? Can we actually go pay that Yambo guy a visit? Can I finish reading that? What do you want? Treasure hoarders. Delve into destiny. Okay. Random treasure hoarders. Uh, well, there it is. I see it. It's kind of might not be where I can grab it, though. <laughs> it's up in the thing. I'm wondering how I missed it, but I have to remember the last time I was down here, I had a wicked migraine, so my brain was not functioning properly at all. Shadows of fate. Uh, picked the wrong test subject. Just feels a splash behind him, like, what the heck? <laughs> There's a treasure chest over here too. Have a taste of this. Okay, let's see. How do I get up this thing? That's right, it makes Pokemon suck noises. I forgot. I heard that little menu and was like, wait a minute. This isn't the Pokemon Crystal. It's like Final Fantasy XII occasionally makes Xenosaga noises, and I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Alright, let's go back. Hello, little guy. You lost? Oh, we're being uh, followed. It'll probably leave before we get to the pedestal. Unless it warp strikes. Here we go. At the other camp. I could have sworn this is where we were before. Nope. One off. Wait, there's a mushroom. I need those for the other quest.
You're back. How is it? Any news from the station? It's been abandoned. Is that so? Then did you find anything? You're no longer welcome in Leeway Harbor, I fear. Other than this, do you have any other news? Uh, here's a letter we found. Seems it's for you. Here you are. Ah, oh, it's from Yambo. I got it. What happened? The middle of they're gone too? Let me read it. What's with them? We're fighting for them. Aren't we allies? There are no allies anymore. No more collaboration. To pre be precise, the Fatui are no longer in a collaborative relationship with Liwe. I wonder if they've been down here since the Leviathan. This is betrayal. The people of Liwe have betrayed us. Maybe it's the other way around in their eyes. Perhaps they think that we, the Fatui, have betrayed them. This can't be. We came here to protect the people of Liwe. Don't you remember what the captain said before our departure? This expedition has nothing to do with conspiracies or schemes. Well, considering what went down in Leeway Harbor, I think it involved conspiracies and schemes. But that couldn't prevent conspiracies and schemes from coming to us, could it? This isn't something we have control over, Denalia. Okay, I see. I've decided. We need to retreat. The quicker the better. It's alright. I'll take full responsibility. If there's any deserter among us, if any deserter shall bring dishonor to the Ninth Company... That's me and only me. Danila is right. We're here to protect the people of Liwe from the calamity of the darkness. We can't leave like this. Do you think this is the right time to worry about your personal honor, America? Can't you see it? Can't you see that the people of Liwe neither need our protection nor even want us here? They even defeated our comrades who thought of themselves as heroes. Yes, you betrayed the trust of the people of Liwe. Best you consider what you're going to do next. We should retreat, and preferably in silence, without alerting the local Millilith. The captain said that we should be ready to give their our lives here. We should... He also said that he wouldn't let anyone die in vain, and that he didn't want a whole company to be buried here. At least we're still alive. At least not all of the Ninth Company are gone. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, any more questions? I don't want to hear any objections. You're now dismissed. Whatever the case... Thank you for helping out. Take the Smora and these supplies. Yeah, I guess Prima Gems can't buy you food down here. Thank you for your help. Sorry that there's nothing I can give you in return. This is the first time that Entoha has acted as our company CEO. <laughs> Perhaps the last time, too. But as long as he gets us out of here, I'll consider him to be a worthy CEO. Anyway, I wish you a successful journey. <laughs> Look who's here, our great benefactor. Next time we meet in the wild, don't draw your sword too quickly, alright? I'm just kidding. I hope we won't be enemies the next time we meet. Thank you for your food. If you have any questions, ask Staff Sergeant Anton. I have nothing to tell you. Um, please don't misunderstand. I mean, when it comes to classified information, you know. Anyway, I hope we can meet again as friends. We'll be leaving soon. My apologies if we've disturbed your adventure. About the collaboration with the Millilith. That was a long time ago. Shortly after this place was locked down, we contacted the Liwei Chixing. At first, things went smoothly. Senora even nailed a few mutually beneficial trade agreements. And one of the additional conditions was that Liwei would allow the Fatui to send an advanced team into the chasm. We came to investigate and eradicate the source of the anomalies. As agreed, Shnejnaya and Liwei would share whatever we want. Where to find down here? Do you have any other purpose? At least none that I'm aware of. When we entered the chasm, the local citizens even sent us their best wishes. We all thought that we would be heroes, sacrificing ourselves for the sake of others. Who would have thought things would turn out like this? Yep, they did come out down here before the Leviathan then. Oops, not you. Uh, Anton. About the Dark Calamity. Dark Calamity. The Calamity of Darkness, or whatever you call it. They all mean the great disaster that occurred 500 years ago. Anyway, it's the eternal enemy of Shnejnaya. I can't read. For 500 years, the Calamity has been lurking in the dark, and we've been on guard forever. Hmm. Yeah, they kind of mentioned that. With the Pole Star 2 being, like, a semblance of light, which I'm curious is at the very top of the World Sphere. It probably looks directly onto the heavens, and I have a massive smudge on my lens that I'm trying to see through, and it doesn't work when there is a window directly behind my PC screen. 
I made it worse. Oh my god, I made it a thousand times worse. Why? I may need to go wash my glasses. This is unacceptable. What the? Are you kidding me? How does it keep getting? Oh, my computer's doing NVIDIA updates in the background anyway. Because every time anymore, due to getting hacked, I swear to God, they update, like, every day now. And it's kind of getting annoying. I know they're trying to prevent hacking due to all the crypto mining and stuff. Not by me, by everyone else. But it's really getting annoying. Having your graphics card update literally like every day. Hello. About you. About us. There's nothing much to talk about. We fought hard and we failed. That's all. When we first came down here, we were the ninth company. A company of 64 soldiers. But now, I guess half our men, including our commander, have either gone missing or died. Well, maybe not half of us yet. But anyway, it's around that figure. We lost the battle and should have retreated long ago. But your people on the ground attacked Leeway Harbor. It's surprising, but I think I can understand why. To assist in endeavors of great meaning, Lord... Oh dear. Paul Sinella won't hesitate to dispose with less valuable assets. That's its logic. As his direct subordinate, I have no objections to his cause of action. And that's why you're stuck in the big hole. Anywho, it is time to go. Quest complete. Let's see... Eight mushrooms. I know I have a couple of them around here. Let's put that one back. I see one glowing in the background. How many do I have? Mm-hmm. There are... The shroomies. Oh, I can eat them directly. I need one more. Interesting I couldn't give them the mushrooms. As an option. I see. It's down there, but I want to come up here first because I can literally see it. <laughs> glowing. Bring back for key dive's approval. Hang on, there it is. Could probably come back here, super easy. So where is Mushroom Man? Secret Mushroom Man. See, so what? I guess we're dropping him off at another time because he moved. He went deeper into the chasm. Alrighty then. I just came up with an awesome new riff. Want to hear it? Okay, that is down that way. So I'm probably going to have to find a tunnel or something. New enemies. I thought they were slimes, but they're not. Look at them. They're such cute faces. Look. Apparently they make bubble shields. Fungal spores. Yeah, that's where I get these. These must be for the new characters coming out in a couple days. There's such suspenseful music and they haven't even spotted me. Come on, buddy. Woohoo! Let me hear ya! Ooh, hang on. 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh, a miner's log with the name he on the cover, probably the name of the owner. On the first few pages it reads, Cheating's been looking for his daughter's toy, but it's nowhere to be found. Let me go deeper in the mine to see if I can find it for him. There's an itching in my ears. It's so itchy, like bugs in my ears. Ugh, I just want- won't give me a rest. I'm gonna run out of food soon. According to that voice, I- huh. But this- is this mushroom really edible? This is what my allergies feel like. Like, it really does feel like that. Like you have bugs or something deep in your ears. It's so terrible. On the following pages it reads, I can hear it. Mushroom meat. Mushroom meat. So delicious mushroom meat. Okay, might not want to eat these. Whoa! You hear a whispering coming from behind you. <laughs> what are you doing here? Freaking ghosts, I swear to God. Whoa, this guy looks terrible. He just popped up without making a single noise. Could he be? Probably not. I mean, could ask. <laughs> Why are you here? Have you run out of food as well? Are you Uncle He? Uncle Hey? Uncle Hey, it's Hey. Hmm, youngster, what are you saying? I can't hear you. I'm asking if you're Uncle Hay. Oh, yes, that's me. Are you also trapped like me? Did you run out of food too? How unlucky. But no worries, I've got some food here. You must be famished. Now the topic's making Paimon's tummy grumble. This mushroom meat stuff looks very suspicious. Don't just chow down on whatever suspicious stuff you find. Uh, you're right. He seems a little bit cooked in the head. And what's with that strange complexion? Parmon bets it has to do with the mushroom meat. Mushroom meat? <laughs> yes, it's delicious. Here, yeah, would you like some? How do you like it? What? What's the matter? The mushroom meat is gone. You know what? Forget it. Let's just go back to camp now. I'm not going. I've run out of mushroom meat. Without it, I won't even have the strength to walk. I'm not going anywhere. No mushroom meat, no food anywhere else. But with mushroom meat, I can go anywhere. Then where can we find you some? Mushroom meat. Oh, hee hee, I know where it is. Let me find some for us. Let us fill our tummies, and then we'll have the strength to work. It should be around here. Well, man, Paimon's guessing we can only do what he says. Uh, that does seem to be the only option now. Mushroom meat. Big mushroom meat. Uncle Hay's high as balls. Collect mushroom meat together with Uncle Hay. The missing miner. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, these are the mushrooms we want. Take a few more. What happened? Why are there so many mushroom creatures around us? Mushroom creatures, mushroom meat. Delicious. How does this count as mushroom meat? I'm out. Did I defeat it? Oh, there's a boar. Haven't seen one of these in a while. There's no end to the floating fungi! Mushroom creatures, wonderful! Uncle Hey, could you stay in the back? I wonder if these can be affected by water. Can they? Really? I could have sworn they'd be water element, but... He smoked the whole bag. He took them all out in a whoosh. Whoa, so strong. <laughs> mushroom meat, mushroom meat. 
Ever since I started eating mushroom meat, my lower back pain left me and I've got more strength. It's like I've grown a few years younger. And mushroom creatures are more delicious than mushroom meat. The bigger, the tastier. Could it be that Uncle Hay got so strong from eating mushroom meat? Crackhead strength is real. Um, since it might grant us more power, why don't you give it a whirl, Paimon? No. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. You do what you want in your own time. But it's not for me. You sure it's more power that you're after, huh? Let's be less creative with- Please be less creative with your diet. Oh, right. Paimon gets it. Back on topic. Uncle Hay should be fine with following us back now, right? As long as he doesn't think you're mushroom. Mushroom meat. Uncle Hay, let's go back to camp together. Huh? Together? Sure, let's have the mushroom meat together. Air-dried mushroom meat can be stored for a long, long time. Paimon means we're going back to camp together. The damp? What's got damp? Oh, what does it matter? I'm fine with it. Now that I've eaten mushroom meat, damp or dry, I can go anywhere. <sighs> let's bring Uncle Hay back to Jinwoo. Just dangle a mushroom in front of him and just keep walking. I say that not in jest either. Sometimes when my friends get a little high, it's very easy to just tempt them with food. Found him. Please give approximately 10 hours to sober up. <laughs> Mushroom meat. A mushroom meal and tummy. Small mushrooms, mushroom creatures, big mushroom. And be sure to give them like a bag of crisps or something. Uncle Hey, what happened to your face? Oh, I knew you were alive. To think that your family even invited me to your funeral. I refused to go, you know. Told them that nothing was certain yet without a body. Look at your face. It must have been tough for you, being trapped in the mine like that. But anyway, I'm glad you're still alive. Being alive is good, yes. Leaving, living, breathing mushrooms are delicious. Uncle Hay? He was like this when we found him. He wasn't quite all there, and he kept saying that he wanted to eat mushrooms. Mushrooms. The chasm is a dangerous place for ordinary people. Plants and fungi growing here could also be harmful to the human body. That's why Hishwin Hall set strict rules against eating those things. But Uncle Hay's been dropped trapped down here all these years with nothing else to eat oh my god he's been on a on a stint for years how am i supposed to face his family with him and his steak i guess i'd wait about approximately 10 hours it'll it'll dissipate speaking of mushrooms do you know someone who does research on mushrooms now that you mention it kidive might be able to help after all he's a scholar from sumeru he must have conducted some research on mushrooms please wait here i'll bring him over to check up on, on uncle hay Seriously, just keep him hydrated, give him a bag of crisps, let him count ships in the harbor or something, and he'll be fine in a couple hours. <sighs> With how messed up Uncle Hay is, Paimon's not really sure if he can recover. Yeah, he can. I guess just give it time. If he goes back to his family like this, they'll be pretty saddened. Same thing happens when people come this way in the ER. It's like, well, you're not... In any danger, here's a pack of crisps from the vending machine. Feel free to sit in the lobby while it wears off. Other than that, there's not a whole lot else we can do. You'll be fine. We have a TV. <laughs> Enjoy your chips. You can't just kidnap me here while I was halfway through my report, Jinwoo. I know you're in charge of the team's safety, but you can't just disturb my research like that. I'm seriously considering cutting your budget as they proposed. <sighs> Never mind the budget. Please check on this man here. It's so itchy inside my ears. We've got antihistamines for that. Huh? Who is he? Why does he look like that? Did you find him? Seriously, how are you always able to stumble upon such peculiar events? I'd like to know that in real life too, buddy. Then how is he like this when you found him? He's high. You tell Kidai what happened to Uncle Hay. Kidai performs a careful examination. Do I literally have to explain to the NPCs what intoxication is? 
He's fine. It's not a big deal. You know how he always complains about itchiness in his ears? That's because the spores of the fungi have entered. Like I said, we've got antihistamines for that. Although long-term consumption of this type of fungus, I mean mushroom, does impair one's sanity. It doesn't hurt the body. So you're saying he can recover? I've already cleared his body of the fungi and made some medicine to treat his neurological disorder. He's very likely to recover given ample rest. I see. Then about the cost of the medicine. None of the ingredients are expensive. They're only worth a month's meals at Shinwei Shinwe Kiosk. It's not a big deal. I'll figure out some way to repay you. And good morning, Dakshkrew. No one to repay me. As a matter of fact, the incident gives me something new to write in my report. Ever since I came to these across these peculiar mushrooms in the chasm, I've been curious about the long-term consequences of eating them, but I haven't found a willing assistant yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you haven't looked very hard, I guess. Try college campuses. Test subject is more the word, don't you think? You can say that, but we've studied the mushrooms and come to the conclusion that they won't cause any irreversible damage to either the body or the mind. But given how peculiar the chasm is, the environment here could be another reason for his symptoms. Anyway, just have him take the medicine and get some rest. He's very likely to recover, even now. What a relief. I'll bring him up to the surface later. Once he's recovered, I'll bring him home and inform his friends as well. He's a veteran miner, and an agile one, too. He took very good care of the youngsters who were new to the mine. When he went missing a few years back, everyone wondered why Rex Lapis didn't protect him. A good man's life shouldn't have ended that way, they said. I'm sure his friends will be much comforted by the news that he's back. Like I said, he's fine. He's just high as balls. <laughs> My ears aren't itchy anymore, but mushroom meat, where can I find more? My man has been lost in the sauce, deep down in the mines. What a curious geological environment we're in now. I'm sure I can outdo the research goals set by the academia this year. Oh, Traveler, what's up? Here's the mushrooms you asked for. Oh, you have my thanks. With your help, my research is, what do they call it in leeway? As smooth as the cat soaring in the air. Like a winged tiger? Uh, yeah, a winged tiger. What happened to these fungi? How strange. They look almost identical to an indigenous species in Sumeru, save for the uh, fluoroskin. Why? Is it because they've evolved in the darkness? But why does their look remain the same after the evolution? Um, is not something not adding up? Simply put, fungi evolved to adapt in their surrounding environment. But by the looks of it, this type of fungi is more suited to living in forest environments. Hmm. Well, there are, like, roots way down here. I'm wondering if the influence of the previous... Dendro God um, had something to do with it because when they die, they kind of like explode their power out. And I know that the current um, goddess in Sumeru is young by deity standards, which is why their power can only really be seen in the grass when you use um, your sight ability because they can't even influence things like trees and whatnot yet. So, yeah. I'm curious if uh, the death of the last G, uh, not Geo Archon, but um, Dendro Archon had something to do with it. That's why I am so certain of this Sumeru origin. So why do they glow? Since they aren't indigenous species of the chasm, they didn't evolve to glow. Rather, the glowing is the result of some abnormal ecological phenomena. It's probably because of the fragment that fell from the sky after absorbing its energy. The fragment? Huh? What did you say? Something about a fragment? Um, I mean, when the fragments of fungi fell from the sky, they must have undergone some random mutation. There's also some hinting that the people of Sumeru might know way more about the world than they lead on to believe. That must be it. <laughs> Thank you for collecting the fungi. It's been a busy day. Please get some rest. You've earned it. I'm gonna go study now, if you wouldn't mind leaving me alone for a bit. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't supposed to tell you that. Anywho. Apparently there's nothing more to tell us. Uh, heavenly stone debris. Back to blowing a hole in the underground mines and hoping it doesn't cave in on us. 
Wee! Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh dear, please don't drown. Where am I gonna respawn if I drown? Oh no! This is bad! And there we go. I'm all the way back up here, because of course I am. That's technically the last spot I touched prior to touching water, and that's where it respawns you. <laughs> Can I increase this thing yet? It looks pretty cool. I was not expecting the chasm to be this big. Oh yeah, it's huge. It doesn't look as big from the outside. It opens up and you look at it like, really? That's all we get? And then you go down underneath it and it just keeps going. <laughs> well, let's see. 13 out of 8. Enhance. Okay, new abilities and stuff. Grant the following capabilities. Maximum amount of energy that can be stored is increased to 4. The brightness and range has been increased. Even on the map, it doesn't look as big, but that's because so much of this is up and down. So, all the way up is part, and all the way down is part it's built vertically in here so <laughs> it's it's wit it's about double the size of what the map actually is because it just keeps going opponents defeated what opponents i was gonna say <laughs> Oh, thank you for the follow, Omega Wolfie. Want any help? I'm actually pretty good for now. I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. Whee! We've just been doing some side questing. at the moment just taking my sweet time see treasure mine we I just haven't been able to stream as much, so I'm kind of behind in the game. Real life be getting in the way. Again. Oops. Should probably heal. goop. Where are we headed? Into this thing. Probably be good to warp here and then see if I can... Well, it's getting a little lighter. Right about there. can see a shift in the clouds. Are you done with the Archon quests? Nope. That's what we're heading in to do.
It's just that there's a bunch of other stuff down here. Completed several side quests this morning. Completed a bunch of the quests on top of the chasm, now I gotta complete the quest down in the chasm. <laughs> like I said, behind. Again. Gotta love it. Where'd it go? Okay, can't quite touch that yet. Insufficient. Wants me to go that way, but I'm probably gonna have to go around. Hmm. Purple. I was exploring down here, and then I found Uncle Hay just vibing. Go with vibing. Because okay. it looks like there's a path down here. Kind of want to grab these mushrooms. I feel like somebody in the future pulls are going to need these. Does that mean they'd canonically get high? Ah, there we go! see anymore. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do. It's way over there. That one's lit. Let's see. Any more? Shadows of fate. Feel the beat. They're so cute. Okay. Boom. Boom. Is there maybe one up there? I don't see the... I wonder if maybe they're up higher. The fact that there's plants growing down here. Part of me thinks it has to be related to Sumeru's power. The heck? Why do I only... Oh, whatever. I'll do it later.
Wait a minute. I couldn't tell this was breakable until I got close enough to it. Doggone it. Really? I thought it would be a waterfall, but it's like I don't see one. And this leads absolutely nowhere. I feel like I'm just kind of in a big hole. Nope. Because it looks like there's a path there, but I can't quite see into there. I'm curious, too, if this has a different... It's going to be approximately the same spot. Okay. I'm going to warp up again, just to help myself. The topography almost makes it look like I have to go either up and around or through something. So I'm gonna keep a close eye on that. That's some sort of goop weirdness. Oh no, don't go up! No, Seely! Come on, bro. Wait a minute. Look like they could come in handy. We're gonna blow up the wall, aren't we? <laughs> Found it. <laughs> hey, little dendro. <laughs> Can see how the grass glows. When we do this, a lot of people think it's because that's what the uh, current Dendro Archon's power is. It's relegated to the grass. Hey! Nope! But that they're not powerful enough to extend it anywhere else yet. Oh, huge tree roots! Small buds growing on them, too. Try to use elemental sight. Whoops! What oh, buds? There's a bud. Did I just hear a bird? I just heard something unlock. Chi-Chi's idle animation. Does that with the grass? There's one. Oh, that's what it's doing down here. I've seen people say there's something hidden in this room, too, since I've actually have seen this room before. Just this room, though. There's something that looks like a ground cherry in here, which I don't remember how to get it, but I mentioned before with ground cherries way, way back with Yai Miko about the uh, yokai procession and how yokai wine is made from ground cherries. Now, don't drink it as a human because it's poisonous to humans, but... Curious if those two mythos might 
have a connection. The fact that they put them practically side by side. <laughs> Took you a while to unlock the chest. Yeah! I'm just gonna be patient here. Look for the leaves. Wait a minute. Did they make elemental sight stay? Oh, there it is. When I don't move anymore? Because if so, I really appreciate that. Okay, we need electric. Geo. And I think the other one was animo. It's been like that? Okay. Geo. Let's make haste. Electro. Something's come up. <laughs> Dumbass. Speed of light. A keen eye. There it is. Don't worry, Paimon will show you, tell you a story later when we're on the road. A shriveled seed. Here it is. This is the ground cherry. It's not in here. This is furniture, dum dum. Where is it? Shriveled seed. A seemingly withered object that seems to, by normal judgment, be a seed. However, it still has a surprising amount of life in it yet. Best not to eat it for now. Well, it's a quest item later. Some people speculate this, this might be a way destiny. into Sumeru as I'm well. Aloy. Ready for the hunt. Because the nation that's supposed to represent Sumeru, aka the Persian Empire, in A Thousand and One Tales, it has a barrier on it, a barrier to the city. So we might not be able to go directly in, but I can see us potentially like sneaking under a barrier if it has one, using the chasm. That's my personal hypothesis for when Sumeru comes out. If it even has a barrier. But. Where the hell was I going? Okay, we were here. Yeah, see, look. Lights filtering in. That was how we came before. Maybe that wasn't the way we needed to go. Maybe that was a secret room. I don't know. Ugh. Well done. I did a whole lot of nothing. Okay. Now that eventually this is going to lead into the similar oasis, but I'm trying to perhaps find a way else. There's something else in here that leads to a different destination. Oh my god, why? One. 
don't even know where they're at, dude. There they are. Take it. Who put all these things here? Seriously. The oasis, I think. We're getting other stuff accomplished, at least. I can't see. I can't see. I'm stuck. Alright, whoever's left, I'm gonna have like 20 seconds. Please spawn in. Oh, not you, not you! That was supposed to be Mona! Written in the stars. And not gonna make it. Dang it! All right, fine. I'll get the goat. Time to begin work. Yeah. Have a look at this first. Blaze over. Shadows of fate. Where the hell did he go? Right, where is she? Barbados, guide us. Where'd she go? 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 She's in the wall. <laughs> oh, okay, that's not fair. <laughs> Out of my sight. That wasn't fair. She went in the wall. <laughs> Twitch fails. <laughs> Thank you. Now is not the time to lag. Now is not the time to lag. Oh my god, no. Stop teleporting. Ah. Did I do it? No! Oh my god. Are you <laughs> this quest sucks. They teleport around like way too much. Ready for trial. Okay. I just put my elemental mastery up through the roof with the end phase, so let's <sighs> I need water for this bastard. Oh, come on. Alright, get in here. Alright. 
Here's my elemental mastery up through the heckin' roof. Don't warp. Fuck. There we go. Remarkable condition. Yep. Yeah. The entry's element, uh, or try that again. Accessory set is to beef up everybody else's elemental mastery in the party for a couple seconds. So whenever she swaps, my combo ability just goes through the roof. Where to this time? This is destiny. And so far when I link her with Ganyu, my melt capability is obscene. Okay, this way leads back in, I th think. Maybe not. Okay, that's where I was. Maybe there's another way underneath. Was the oasis from before we blew open something with the mountain shaper or whatever I wonder if lighting these does anything ever seen one of these Sounds good to test it. power core let's move <laughs> Amp it up. there we go that's better My shield has a mind of its own. What, you just gonna stand here staring at me? Not gonna say anything? <laughs> and there he goes. And he went the opposite way I thought he was gonna go. Didn't figure he'd face plant into a wall, but you know, you people watch enough, you see some stuff. Went right over his shoulder. Okay. That's right, I think there was a cannon here. And I think we blew open this hole in the wall, which is probably the way I was meant to go, and people were secretly seething on the inside. I'm sorry. That don't look good. You come to me, I'm not going in the goop. Ever seen one of these? Shadows of fate. Power core. Decided by destiny. Delved into destiny. And he chooses fire element. Come on, dude. Just you and me in a tiny dark corridor. What are these? They also look like something's been eaten on them. You look like my collard greens on a bad beetle season. Whoa, such a long tunnel. Did the miners really dig it? 
Yeah, this tunnel leads to the location of that curious crystal, but soon after that had been completed, something something can't read. You should see the mining tunnel had been abandoned before it was finished. There are bigger tunnels, the miners, a great snake, something else giant. I don't usually believe this stuff unless I see it with my own eyes. I really wish that text went slower. I really do. I wish it didn't auto progress. These things look like they could come in handy. There isn't anything glowing above me, is there? <laughs> Mona's dash is so annoying, yeah. It's your... it, this is good when crossing water, but trying to, like, dodge can be just a little frustrating. She does have normal run animations, but you only see it prior to, like, Abyss challenges when your abilities are locked. Oh, thank god we can warp! Time to feel something ominous. It's something that doesn't belong here. How would you know? This place is where the miners dug that crystal up. Bless the warp points. <laughs> Oh, okay. Lumenstone only started springing up like the mushrooms within the chasm after the miners discovered this thing. This is definitely no coincidence. From the way it floats and its damaged state, it really does look like the fragments that Iris said existed on Dragon Spine. Yeah, th those are the things we chased up into the needle on Dragon Spine. And yeah, I am talking about those floating fragments that you found earlier. Who knows, they might be inexorably attracted to unite with the large fragment somewhere. Perhaps some nameless ancient civilization sleeps under our feet, just like the ancient catacombs on Dragonspine. What do you think? It's possible. We'll only know if we don't go deeper within. The changes to the geological structures of the chasm have been accelerating. The black substance you see covering the rocks only started showing up everywhere recently. I can't be sure, but I think these things are all related. The mud, the flowing light, and this floating crystal fragment. Hmm, why would you think that? Well, that's because they all make me feel sort of queasy. It's like getting car sick on a carriage, or losing your sense of direction on a ship in a storm. Huh? Really? Paimon feels alright. Are you unwell? If you don't feel good, we can return to camp first. My ability to purify everything might be making me immune to it. But why is Paimon also immune to it? If you don't feel so good, we can make a turn to camp first now that we got that teleport waypoint. I have no qualms. Thanks for your concern, but I've, I'm fine. I've had my fair share of bouts of vertigo or seasickness. I'll be okay. Don't push yourself more than you should, alright? <laughs> Thanks. Ah, uh, yes, have you noticed? There are three strange devices around the crystal thing. We should probably investigate them. What do you think? Hmm. I wonder if my light is a... Uh... There we go! My light is strong enough to uh, penetrate those yet. There's another one here. If need be, I can always go back, power up my flashlight, and then come further in. There's another one up there. Yeah, because this thing was on Dragonspine, and there's also what I can only really describe as a Honkai airship core. I'm not sure if it's one, um, but it looks like one. And it's buried, um, hang on. This was, like, over a year ago now. It's buried in the Chinksa village, approximately in here somewhere. It's this glowing orange ball in a cave. And I'm curious if these have any relationship to what we used for airship cores in Honkai. Also, yes, I have seen the trailers for Star Rail, and I am excited! I noticed, uh, Kuching was there as one of the characters that's gonna be playable. There's an abyss mage. I'm trying to see if I can see the other crystal. There it is. 
I'm probably gonna get sassed out if I fly over him, but yep, there he goes. He angie. <laughs> Dude. You're gonna, like, come say hello? Guess not. Alright. Can this get me to jump? Ooh! From the Lumen Stone, Ajavant reaches a certain level. You can actively use its power to destroy oozing concentrations of the dark mud nearby. Some oozing concentrations are significantly tougher and will need a stronger advent to destroy. Level 2 oozing concentrations. Yeah. Like I said, I might need to power that up. Darn it! At least we have a warp point. Oh my god. <laughs> this tunnel can get to me sometimes. You can actively use this power to destroy concentrations in the mud. I don't know if I have enough for level 2 ooze. Phew, it's hot in here. Wonder girl, though, why is the temperature so high? Padma doesn't feel it. Feel it. Are you wearing too many layers? You having a hot flash? Oh, no. Am I strong enough? I don't think I'm strong enough. <laughs> I might need to go back and power it up. Okay, I'm gonna grab these crystals first. Wee. That's probably why they put these here. They knew. Alright. One is... It was in front of me. That's weird. I only collected the one and the other one kind of just booped out of view. There's one here. Hi, ZT freak. How you doing? We're spelunking in a big cave today. Careful, I've never seen these monsters before. Hey, you guys were down in the, uh, Enconomia. The Dark Souls looking dudes. Apparently y'all have really been enjoying Elden Ring. My Twitter timeline's anything to go by. Shadows of fate. Yeah, it's a very big cave. I remember we can't use shields with these guys or they get very upset. So it's brute force all the way. Where is the shard? Here, maybe? <sighs> Come on. There we go. Apologies to anyone who is claustrophobic for these next few episodes. Okay. Anymore. For some reason that really messed with my perspective there. Woo! <laughs> that big pillar passed in front. For some reason my brain thought it was distance until it snapped back into view. Woo! Okay, let's see. Any more? Any more crystals? This should cover food and rent for a while. The shadowy husk enemies? Yeah. I've been calling them hollows. Come on, melt that bubble. There we go. Let 
don't know if there's any more down here. Just want to get as many things as we can before I head back up. I'll increase my adjuvant or however you say that. Adjuvant. Adjuvant. Don't know why it won't stick in my brain, but uh, see if there's any more crystal pieces. Power up my crystal flashlight, come back down, and then see if I can get rid of the goop. Uh, the air here is kind of thin, but it's fine. Do you really want to touch that? It looks like a bad idea. Because I really don't think I have enough. Oh, I can take that one out. Insufficient energy. <laughs> Maybe I'm good. Oh. oh, we are okay. I'm just dumb. But we all knew this. And if you didn't, welcome. There's that thing again, but I don't know where it is. What if it's in the thing? Because I don't see the crystal. There's a locked door over there. It's pointy as if it's in there, but when I got close to it before, it disappeared. Is it below me? Or above me? It could be in the ball. Let's just focus on the task at hand. Come on, man. Sorry, I couldn't help. I'll do better next time. Okay, where's the next one? Is it under anything? I can't. First, can I? I can. Alright, where's the last one? Up there. Compliment the sound design that they actually made it echo down here. Hmm. Okay. Nope, pardon me, friends. I'm on a mission. Monsters. You know, for a second I thought she meant the slimes. Like, it's just slimes. Ma'am, you've never seen a slime before? Okay, these two are a little frustrating. That's right, I can't party swap. This is in Final Fantasy XII. I've been playing that in the background, so my brain is stuck on those mechanics. Um, I gotta remember that once he gets critical health, I'm gonna have to use particular elements in order to take his barrier down. And since I don't have electric, this is, might be a little painful. There it goes. Okay. This is just for him to play with, but in the meantime... 
bit by bit. Barrier have to go bye bye. <laughs> this is gonna be so tedious, oh my god. Can yours go down with claymores? Oh, can it? You know, down when I was in the chamber with child, um, it didn't allow me to do that. Does animal work? I didn't see if animal got to work. He's he's being too flippy. And so I kind of got stuck in one of the trials as a result because it couldn't go down with claymore or geo attacks. It could only go down with element attacks. Don't know if they patched that, but that was really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, you can smack it a little with Claymore now. You couldn't before. I <laughs> got this, yeah. Bit by bit, please hold. I can't put Mono's thing down to freeze him, it won't affect him, but... You can stay distracted on that instead. If he would like to... Watch this. Probably break it, nice. Look, the crystal looks ominous. I would get behind something. Aww. Why do we have to go and break it? You okay? Oh, that's better, much better. The air suddenly got a whole lot cleaner. That thing flew away and blasted a path open for us? Whoa, you scared us. It's almost like you had a case of terminal acidity. Paimon, don't you mean terminal lucidity? You probably need to go back to class, Paimon. Paimon playable when... Well... <laughs> you say that, but... That could actually be a possibility in the future. We don't know. Oh yeah, sure. Just focus on Paimon and stuff. By the way, terminal lucidity is not used that way. Shouldn't we be more concerned about, uh, she... I'm fine now. I was just suffering from maladjustment a moment ago, so I might have looked pretty frightened. But I'm fine now. Please don't worry. It's like how people might feel faint due to the thinned air if they climb very high a very high mountain for the first time, or find it hard to breathe in deep waters. Yeah, seriously, why aren't we bringing, like, a canary or something with us? To test and see if the air is breathable? You know, the one we brought up with us, but we don't take further down for some weird reason, despite the fact that there might not be oxygen? There are small problems. Things are very good adventure I might, must overcome. No problem at all, really. Yeah, no air. It's just no problem. Sure. Small problems, says the person who talks about them so dramatically. You sure you're all right? You shouldn't get too close to the crystal all the same. Also, don't watch from so close when we're fighting. Just look at the state you're in already. I'll be fine, really. Don't you underestimate me. This is what adventurers should be like. They should walk around with death and consider deadly peril a friend. We fear neither death nor danger. So, this is nothing I can't handle. What are you even talking about? It's nothing. Please don't worry about me. You sure you're good? Not a few paces away from where you nearly collapsed and you're talking nonsense again. I'm just worried about your safety. That's right. We were talking about something different altogether. Stop being stubborn and go back to the surface and rest. Also, depending on if there is low oxygen, you might not be thinking clearly. It would be best for you to return. No, please, listen to me. They're not different. They're all the same thing. What just happened was a small setback. I can overcome it for sure. The environment here is no harsher than that of the Marjavari. Please don't laugh at me, but I don't think I'm much inferior to Stanley in adventures. Then ordinary people like me can do the same as those seasoned adventures, just with some extra grit. That's what I believe. I will persist no matter what, and I'll do my best not to be a burden to you. Uh, then let Paimon ask you a question. Earlier when you came into contact with that black, money, smelly stuff, did you feel uncomfortable like this too? Kinda. It wasn't that serious. Don't try to downplay it. Give us an honest answer. Well, yes, but just like this time, I needed to tough it out, you know? It was nothing serious. Ugh. 
This person has got to be the king of the land of understatements. How can you be sure that you won't be in mortal danger if exposed to it for too long? You might feel better if you go back to the camp and take a rest. You need to go back and take a rest. I can't. This expedition has gotten exciting, you know? I don't want to slow us down. It's best that you tell everyone else what you found. The other people on this expedition need you to lead the way for them. That's right. Jinwoo, Kidive, and the others still need you to guide them. If you run off by yourself in the depths, who's going to lead you away from them? Hmm. Please go back and tell them the dangers that await them ahead. You can guide them and steer them clear of any hazardous areas. But... No worries. We'll be fine. Let's rendezvous in the front later. Okay, I understand. Be careful. Um, I'll go back to camp and guide them through a safe path clear of the dark mud as we go deeper into the chasm. Sorry I was being so stubborn. Hm. Better keep your promises and hold your horses and stay clear of dangerous places. <laughs> Alright, I get it. I'll do as you say. That's the spirit. Let's head off. Seriously, low oxygen or high carbon dioxide is no joke. Do you need something? About your maps. Huh? My maps? That's honestly not much to be said about them. But before I joined the Adventures Guild, I, I was the mine cartographer. Of course, I wasn't just some person sitting behind a desk. In fact, we couldn't be more different. I was once commissioned by them to map out the terrain of the Xiaoying village. And after all that work, they canceled the construction project just like that with only a word. People like them get assistance to do the dirty exploration work and information gathering for them, and then they start drawing. But those like me, we can't do that. Uh, as well, half a meter myself, I've long gotten used to passing through the dangerous underground passages. It's just the way the job works. Also, after the great change, the lower levels of the chasm have really been truly unstable. Unstable? Is that very dangerous? You bet it is. The terrain here is slowly but constantly changing. A path today might be a rock wall the next month. It's almost as if... How should I say this? It's almost as if the chasm itself is changing shape as it likes. Now that is interesting. Especially if we are not feeling it above ground. Because as someone who lives in a mining area and has sinkholes open up from time to time, oh boy, have they this spring already. The ground vibrates and shifts as that happens. Uh, things like that can be spooky, right? Very. Perils in the dark. In the depths, an unexpected reunion. Let's exhaust this dialogue first. Tell me about your life as an adventurer. <laughs> what, my life? You don't have to be so polite. I'm just a newbie. I've barely started my journey, unlike you. I have completed some commissions from the guild, of course, but I'm not that experienced yet, so I haven't done much solo exploration. I don't think I've left any tales of my deeds left behind either. So I've been thinking that the chasm just might be the place for me to make my mark on future generations to remember me by. The chasm might be, to quote the great adventurer Alice, my Rubicon. The Rubicon, is that a Hillichur language? The Rubicon, huh? That's pretty impressive. I haven't never heard of that one either. Well, I'm not too sure myself, but given that Alice is an adventurer who's seen the entire world, so that must be some place she's been to, right? I don't think it's a place. That word sounds familiar. Um, Rubicon. A noun. An act of winning a game against an opponent whose total Onwards. score is less we than 100. In which case, the loser score is added rather than subtracted from the winners. Hmm. Okay. So it's essentially a reverse, you know. What do you think about Clifodo? Hmm, I don't trust him. We've had to deal with the treasure hoarders above the mines for who knows how long. They're up to no good, I know it. Do you trust a word he says, turning over a new leaf, washing his hands of the situation? While they say such petty words, they'll be re reaching their filthy hands into your back pocket. Even Rex Lapis would have trouble protecting your wallet from the likes of them. I'm not prejudiced or anything. <laughs> sure. I'm just letting you be wary. The treasure hoarders are never to be trusted. That does sound like prejudice to me, though. <laughs> Maybe it is. You've probably seen a great many more things than I have, so I guess you might be more generous to them. But as for me, I'm always kept a keen eye on the back of my head just for them. And I'll keep doing that until this guy can prove he's nothing more to do with those despicable former companions of his. Anything else? See you around.
See ya. Go get some air. Oh look, there's something shining here as well. Luminstone ore? Ah, oh, the raw ore, it's just like the one she found earlier. Yeah, we need this um, for some of the enhancements as well. We can't do some of the later enhancements without this peculiar, peculiar type of ore. And that's why I couldn't find this sucker. It was under the floor. Anything else around here? Oh boy. All right. All right, rock wall behind me. Sort of a slip and slide tunnel beneath me. Nameless ruins. Examine the dark fog in front of you. What the? It's a city? A whole city that's floating in the air! Upside down? Not what I was expecting to find. The defiled statue? Yes, that's it! It's just like that. Just as strange, just as upside down, and just as spooky. In which case, maybe whatever's going on in the chasm really is connected to the Abyss Order. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Ooh. Oh? Alright, who's jumping out court? Dane? Uh, not expecting that. I guess that explains unexpected reunion. The feeling is mutual. I certainly hadn't expected to meet you here either. Long time no see, Dane. Wait, but how did you suddenly end up here in the chasm? Seriously, last time I saw you, you jumped through a corridor of darkness, didn't know if you'd live, and now you're just <laughs> here. <laughs> the chasm? So we're in the depths of the chasm, are we? Interesting. This is one place where I have never set foot before. So, like, when you jumped through that portal, did you not know where you'd end up? And also, it's been, like, ten months? Were you just floating around in the realm of darkness for ten months? Or were you up to something? I would like to be caught up to speed here. I have a lot of questions for you. I understand how you must feel. Last time, we met suddenly and parted hastily. That's a word for it. Now our paths cross again. Fate, it seems, owes you an explanation. First, tell me what you're doing here. What was going on with that portal just now? That much should be self-explanatory. I came upon the trail of another Abyss Herald recently and began pursuing it. Unfortunately, I got as far as cornering him before he resorted to the same trick that they all do. I was hot on his heels when I followed him through the portal, but as usual, it was to no avail. It took me to the wrong place. Apparently he does this a lot. And, uh, what happened to my brother after you popped through the portal? Or, when you jumped through, did you wind up in a different spot than they did? So you had the same issue with the portal last time, so you don't actually catch up with my brother last- didn't actually catch up Correct. with my brother last time. Based on my recent experiences, I can only conclude that the Abyss's portals are not simply pathways from point A to point B, but gateways to an entire network. Where they emerge on the other side is their choice. It can be anywhere within the network. Sounds kind of similar to how teleport waypoints work. In short, though I was right behind your twin last time when I entered that portal, the next moment that I realized where I was, I was all alone, back in the ruins known as Storm Terror's Lair. Oh yeah, about that! Whatever happened to the Eye of the First Field Killer? It's in a safe place. You can be sure that I will learn the truth of the Loom of Fate operation sooner than it could ever fall into the Abyss Order's hands. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you. I totally forgot about that plot point until Paimon just brought it up. Why didn't you tell me who you really are? Who is the Twilight Sword? <laughs> so that title stuck in your memory. I by no means went out of my way to conceal it from you. It once stood for the glory of Kanria. But now, it is but a cruel joke. My curse to bear. 
Twilight Sword was my title as captain of the Royal Guards when I witnessed the destruction of my entire homeland firsthand. I believe my reluctance to raise it in conversation is quite justified. Sounds like your brother was right. What's history between you and my brother? What happened between you? We were travel partners. We both partook in a painful journey of searching for our fate. But regrettably, we did not make it to the journey's end together. Journey's end? Before you continue questioning me, I ought to warn you. If my suspicions regarding the portal network are correct, then the fact that there is a portal leading here tells us that the Abyss Order has their eyes on this location. You mean the Abyss Order is plotting something here? Actually, Paimon and the Traveler suspected that too! I mean that it's highly likely that even as we speak, the Abyss Order is watching our every move. <gasps> Don't say that! You're giving Paimon goosebumps! Let's just go and investigate and tell me everything you know! A wise choice. Hmm. There appears to be light from a fire coming from near that rocky wall. Let's take a look. It's a good sign. It means there's oxygen. When one gazes into the abyss, the abyss gazes back. Anyway, teleport waypoint. Nope. There's also a thing. Can I get back up here easily? I would really like to collect these. Oh, you're going into the goop, bud? I don't know if I can go where you lead me. But I don't know if I can follow you just yet. I'll be back. <laughs> we were up here originally. If I get too stuck, I can always just warp. Mm hmm. Later. These are hilly chill structures. What are you down here? I guess the hilly chills were coming in here, that's why we originally came. You still haven't told me what you're doing here. I doubt that most travelers would have any reason to venture down this way. I could ask the same of you. We took a commission from the Adventurers Guild to investigate the chasm. Apparently a whole load of hilly churls have been gathering here, and the requester wants to know why. And now it looks like we finally found our first clue. Do you want the answer? Huh? You mean, you know something about this? As it happens, I do. Uh, did I miss something? Does this have anything to do with the Upside Down City? It's understandable that you did not perceive anything unusual. What makes this place so strange is that the environment here weakens the effect of the curse. Curse? Oh, Paima remembers. Last time you guys were saying that Conria's people were cursed to immortality or something. For centuries. I have suffered daily from the curse that was laid upon me. But here, I suddenly feel a small amount of relief from this suffering. And right here, right now, I can feel my body sending a strong message to me. It is telling me, stay. So, this place weakens the curse? That's pretty incredible. But how? That I shall need to investigate. But to the best of my knowledge, the Abyss Order does not have the technology to achieve this. So you're saying the hilly trails come here are also from... Indeed. Do you know why hilly churls wear masks? 
Uh, not sure. It's to hide their appearance, lest they catch sight of their reflection in a body of water. Compared to how they remember themselves, it is a terrible sight to behold. One that causes them great despair. So the hilly trails really are from Conria. I thought so. The curse of immortality denies death to those afflicted with it. And yet, it does not truly mean that they will never die. So, you mean, there's a way to undo it? <sighs> no. I mean that the body and soul will continue to be eroded until they are virtually non-existent. Even if death is not the form that this erosion takes. When the Hillichurls realize that the end is nigh for them, it seems their instinct is to seek out a calm and dark corner of the world in which to finally say goodbye to the centuries of suffering they have endured. And of all the places they could lay down to rest, one that can ease the effects of their curse would surely be their first choice. Wow. That's so... Conversation's over. Brace yourselves. What is it? We're under attack. You couldn't tell me that sooner? And yeah, I kind of predicted the Hilly Drill's curse over a year ago. I was right! Ever seen one of these? I told you we were being mean to the Hilly Drill's. Wait, does this count as a shield? They counteract when you shield. What were those? And why did they attack us all of a sudden? Black Serpent Knights. They once belonged to the Royal Guard of Kanria. Wait a second. Royal Guard? So, they used to be your troops? Yes, they were. But now, the curse engulfs them, and they fight with none of the honor they once had. Because they've become pawns of the Abyss now? Let's continue on. Wait! Dane! <clears throat> Anyone you know? Seems we missed one. Seems pretty chill. Wait, stand down. There's something different about this one. It's disappeared. And why does it spare him? What the heck? What was going on with that one? Was it trying to say something? How is this possible? How could he have retained self-awareness for 500 years without it? It? But is that your secret? Why did he seem so familiar? Maybe you recognized you? Do people used to live together as a nation? Did you used to have friends? That would be a miraculous outcome indeed for a cataclysm that brought total doom and destruction. Hmm. Or perhaps it was just a coincidence. We should press onward to the city. What do you mean for a cataclysm that brought doom? If you're immortal, you might still have some fragment left in there. And seriously, why were you spared? What's the it? Down, okay. So we are going in here with Seely Friend. Seely Friend in the Seely Bend. The sadness of the hilly churls we wish to mend. The road ahead seems covered in dark frog. Did something happen? Okay. Maybe there's another sea leaf for here. Time to celebrate! Ready? One, two, three, four! 
Hmm. Uh, down here, really? Yeah, dark mud looks super thick and gross. We haven't. Uh, we have to increase the adjuvant. Ah, there's one. You're just who I was looking for. You're going the wrong direction. Thought you were supposed to go on the other pedestal, or are you taking me on a trip? Seely <laughs> wishes to go on a journey. Didn't go to quite the plan, but really quick, grab that and then come back. <laughs> Maybe if I can reach it. There's. Is he reading the text? So, really, what? Speaking of Uncle Hay and his itchy ears, I actually need to take my allergy medication right now because <laughs> my throat is getting like super itchy now, too. Oh, springtime. There we go. I'm good. Everything itches. Yeah, just go straight up to it. Maybe there's no other unlock requirements. I'm kind of thinking there's going to be like a Sealy on either side, but maybe not. Here we go. Look for clears near the dark bug. Who left this behind? Maybe we can get some useful info from it. Batui's journal. Staff Sergeant Anton has discovered a large bell to the southeast. The rock walls have their script all over it. This is very similar to the large bell that the captain discovered in the ruins to the northwest, perhaps. We dispatched Nezhnaya and Fadayuka Fadika to ring the two bells in their respective corners. As the terrifying tolls reverberated through the stone, the black fog dissipated. What a strange phenomenon. It's almost as if the bells were announcing someone's arrival. Ten were lost. Two vanguard squads took immense damage. The captain ordered a retreat. A simple map falls out of the diary. The map marks out the two bells in the northwest and southeast, with two ominous skulls to go with them. Hmm. We're going on a journey. But there's also something up here. What's this? Oh, there's two. Oh, it's the other bell. Okay. And there was a thing up here the whole time. The two places look like real bad news, but we got to go to them if we know what's going on. Let me guess. It's inside the smug. <laughs> oh yeah, it's totally gonna be like in the center of all the gunk. The funk and the gunk. What's this? Ah, uh, it's not the Lucas Jade, but it also recharges us. Okay. okay.
wish I could read that. Written in the stars. Shadows of fate. Ow. <laughs> I got clapped, literally. said writing? Is this not the pillar? Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Now it's there. And when I get... When I shine the light on it, it disappears. these. I know I might be wasting light, but I can't help myself. Wait! I'm a dumbass! No! I'm sorry about the shield! I know you don't like them, I'm sorry. need to remove the gadget to observe this. Oh. Go back in a second. Got something for you. Yeah. Shadows of the Kind of used to being forced to keep the quest gadget on at all times. Inconomia yells at me whenever I take the box off. I was gonna say, where's my lunchbox? then <laughs> any floaty fun things up on the fortress Geo. They're for some achievement. Oh. Yeah, I love those. Understood. here maybe I see a crack in the wall I just don't know if I can go maybe if I like yeah there's more than two are they timed Please. 
Oh, it's still lit. Hmm. Wealth. Why settle for less than more? I thought that was going to be something more important, but I guess not. <laughs> So we can travel with Ningguang for a while, I don't mind. She's not a fully maxed character yet, so not breaking my own rules or anything. Also, I can do this. You wait. I'm sorry, Hilly Charles! I know this is a really sad story quest about you, but the game makes me do it. A keen eye. Even knowing that uh, the fate of the Hilly Churls is a sad one, apparently we are still dicks outside of the plot. Where are we going? Up here? Where'd it go? It's literally a light in the darkness. How do you lose it? Akina. I see. This probably takes us back out. Okay, cool, cool. Let me wait. No! No! My hubris! about right about there yes <laughs> okay we're on top of it is it above us don't think so it means it's below us However, it could be much further below us. You never know. Wait. G give me a sec. Busy. Huh. Nope. Let me switch. Let me switch. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Perfect. You drown. I swim. You can't. Wee. Vines as soon as my stamina would like to catch a break. I hear abyss mages. gonna be up top. Oh, it creates a, a whirlwind. I just wanna explore here really quick. See what there is to see. It's 
What's up? This place is whoa! The bell's been covered in dark mud! Will tolling this bell really cause the fog to disperse? It depends if I can get out of the mud. Kind of boofed my own chances there because I got my toes wet. <laughs> this looks like a rejuvenator, potentially. So you gotta spend some to get some. Hey. Wait, is this the ping pong thing? Yeah, it is. I don't know if it goes far enough. Let's get the ones here first. If I can aim. Nice. being I don't know if it goes far enough. I don't think it does. So what do we do about these? Mm. Okay, we can just boof them. Do my work with rocks? I guess I take you out with rocks. Delve into destiny. Can I? I'm stuck. <laughs> fate is upon you. Shadows of fate. Undoing all my work. So this is the bell. No, oh, <laughs> my shield smacked it. The bell tolls for the unintentional slapping. Whoa, that sound is ultra spooky. Let's get out of here. I mean, it sounds like a bell. There's a thing, though! Let's see, I can go down. That's easy to go back up. Come on! Really, wind? I'm 
smacked my head. Right, there it is. Cool, one down. I'm staring at it and I can't tell if it's where it wants me to go or... Oh. Something glowing, or is that a quest marker? Cannot tell. Delve into destiny. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's behind the wall, and then I do not have enough power to boof the wall yet. So some weird patterns on them. Is that a picture? What does it mean? Let's take a picture of it first. Maybe we'll find someone who can understand it. Paimon, those are fossils. Sweetie. <laughs> Ding Bong's thing is just in the way. Can we get it to just... Would it like to, to wear off? Please? Thank you. Yeah, these look like, uh, old shellfish. I forget what they're called. Nuda branches? Picture of a strange rock. It's a fossil. We have fossils of these things around here. They're a lot smaller, though. Fossilized shellfish, fossilized coral. Oh, I don't really have a great element for this, do I? I'm in a bubble! Fishing spot. Yo. Seriously? Huh. Here? I want to see if these are normal fish or special fish. Wonder if they have anything. <laughs> Liwiz, not Liwiz. Inazuma's fish hide secrets, particularly a book they digested, which it. I've almost finished. What is it? What is it? Is it another Paimon? I think I have like seven of the ten pages. So far, I've been pretty lucky. I've been getting one almost every time that I fish, but you do need, like, three days for the fish to reset. I think there's only been one or two times where I didn't get anything. You got it! You got it! Uh, 
To be fair, there are certain types of fish we recently um, discovered that are native to certain mine shafts. Forget one, it's in some sort of desert canyon, but it's got a very rare species of fish and it's closed off. Um, because of that, they've got these little cave minnows. I forget what it's called. There was some other tragic event that took place there as well. But what really sealed it off was this unique little minnows that lived there. I love these things. They look like cat bug. Sugar peas! Drop them! Okay! I'm making like Adventure Time references, so nobody's gonna get it. It's technically not Adventure Time, it's by the same creator though. That's a long way down. Nameless ruins. We going the right way or what? find some. That's probably a bigger one than what I can handle. Enemies are a good sign. It means you haven't been somewhere before. You know, if you're gonna give me 50 seconds, can I at least get the 50 full seconds? Oh, there's no way, dude. Please hit. Did I come in? I think this is where I was. Yes. I will grab a thing though. Okay, I'll grab one of these things. No energy? There we go. Was I going this way? Person with no sense of direction attempts to explore a cave. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Oh, I found more text. Oh, 
hopefully that's a good sign. There's the thing. Yeah. I feel bad. This is probably a grave. I'm sorry. I see thing in distance. I see teleporter. I see Seely. I do not see the glowing orb that I am attempting to find in this Meredith. Okay, nobody sneeze. It was big. Like I said, a lot of this is vertical. There's so many layers, pun intended. Am I going the right way? Who knows? I've said this since the beginning and now I really feel it. to do at your own game. Something's behind me. Oh! Give me a minute! If he goes off the cliff, I swear. Delve into destiny. treasure unaccounted for. Okay, this is apparently the thing. It's probably up top. I'm hungry. <laughs> I haven't had breakfast. Why settle for less than more? Oh, I walked into something. I'm stuck in something. Don't mind me, boys. <laughs> Just glitching out in a wall. It's 
the new TikTok trend. What can I say? Huh. Don't waste my time. Guardian of Desolation. Do they all have names? Just you. Bully whiff. A whiff of bully in every slice. Come on, Jane, move! Game had a moment there. Death, there is awakening. Oh, are these new? Yes, something, maybe. Maybe we got them down in the Ankonomia. Oh my god, stomach stop. I'm sorry. I'll ring the bell and then I'll take a break for food. We can't have treasure unaccounted for. As soon as I find the bell. Hello? You got yourself in, now get yourself back out, girl. the other ones. So do dig him for something. Normally that activates a thing, but I guess not today. Was my glow not powerful enough? Huh. The two bells on either sides of the ruin. I bet the bell's inside the gate. Get to it from gliding. But you! What if I just kind of. No, that doesn't work. Dang! I can't. I might need to be brighter. No joke, I might literally need to be brighter. Or, hang on. Oh, now there's 
two of them. That one will keep that one going. Yeah, not powerful enough for that. Can you, like, stay? No? Okay. Just let the silly wander around. This one? Can you stay there? Can you be good? Okay, so there's... There's nothing in this hallway, so let's lead you. He's there. Let's not disturb him. Let's go around so we don't disturb. Ha ha ha! Uh, well, why settle for less than more? Oh, you are following me. Thank you, friend. You get that one. I get this one. Uh, so that's how it's gonna be. The mill marks on the map should be around here. We should probably get rid of the gunk before it kills us. A keen eye. Hello. Seelies <laughs> are always friends. It's all gunked up back there. And it resolved itself. Was it this one? Yes. It's hard to tell. We're back! Wait, what? Lectors! Or heralds, whichever. And Joe, is that you? No. Agnar and Agil. Who art thou? This ground is not to be trespassed. Why have you come, sinners? I thought y'all were atheists. <laughs> Getting kicked around a little bit here. Can I have some particles, please? Particles, sirs. For a dear sinner such as myself, what am I aiming at? Uh, I'm getting my butt beat a little bit here. There we go. That's better. I need ice and I don't have ice. This is bad. This is very bad. I was aiming for the other one, but thanks. Let's recharge, Gene. I'm trying! 
Hang on, hang on, hang on. Why can't I open my menu? Thank you! Do I really need... Ah, oh, behold the power of chicken! Praise be to the nugs! What? <sighs> I was aiming for that one, but thanks. I'm hoping, since I've got my shield up, it counts as a little bit of a cuddle. Bye bye! Next! I'm so glad that Geo works now. The light of heaven. Quest completed. Perils of the dark. An unknown construct that you discovered. The campsite's been set up. Follow me. When did you get here? It's She's voice. It's coming from up ahead. Wait, hang on. Where's the thing? How did she get in front of us? Where's the... Are you kidding? Hey. Really quick, I should probably... Yeah. Give it a minute, she... <laughs> I'm taking Venti's advice to light- that's the wrong thing. Light wind in a tunnel or some whatever. Whatever you monster people do. Have your souls go with the wind or... Eh. Mm hmm Actually, you know what? Really quick, hold that thought. <laughs> I can't help myself, okay? I need these things. It's great to see that you're alright. What were those two creatures? I've never seen anyone or anything like that. All right, all right. There's no need to be so strict. I won't risk provoking them, I know. How did you get in front of us? We came through a hidden mine on the west side that just so happens to let us get around areas infested with black matter and the strange creatures below. Are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. The road was pretty hard to find. And no mistake, it must have been some sort of path the treasure hoarders carved out en route to their loot stashes. But I can't imagine them wanting to come down this far either. Well, our campsite isn't too far away. Let's talk as we go, shall we? Wherefore did the spirit sound descend? Return. Go to camp? Maybe it is up this way. I was gonna say, that kind of reminds me of a camp marker, but way down here? Maybe they've set up two now. Speaking of which, I heard a few trolling, tolling sounds not long after we entered the mines and the tunnel started shaking. We just barely got out, we were running for our lives. No one was hurt though, and our equipment wasn't damaged. Do you know anything about that? Uh, not really. Sorry. Yeah, loud now loud sounds in the cave, not exactly the best idea. Flashlight low. Okay, these do recharge it. Cool. Treasure unaccounted for.
guess it can't move. Fine by me. It's probably its way of saying too. You're gonna really need to level up this thing. We're here. Welcome to the forward operating base. Oh, hello there. Is there something that you need? You're coughing away. You sure you're okay? I'm alright, really. The air down here is kind of thin, which doesn't sit too well with me. Ah, uh, yes. This is the map that I drew earlier. Uh, well, that feels better. Uh, you better rest up. Don't go running around all over the place now. Speaking of maps, we got one for you as well. It's a map of the two strange- oh, it's a map of the two strange bells. It seems like it's something those dastardly Fatui left behind. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll incorporate this new location into my map. Wait a moment, did you say Fatui? They've tunneled into this place as well? Certainly looks like it. Ah, oh, looks like we've got to be even more careful while exploring the chasm. Speaking of which, we found this. You've been around here more, she, so you probably know what it's used for, right? This? I think I found a gate with a symbol similar to this somewhere deeper down. Ah, oh, sorry. If I remember correctly, you could hear the wind behind that gate. I'm quite sure there should be a large open space behind it for us to explore. I wonder what relationship this thing has to the gate. Might be a key of some sort. She's right. This device used to unlock the gate. Whoa! Where did you come from? A hello before joining the conversation might be nice. Uh, sorry, I was just too eager to say that this strange device is indeed used to open the doors. I once looked into similar devices, and just as luck might have it, the device in your hands is an exact match to the one in my research lab. Unfortunately, neither alchemy nor basic mechanics can help us understand the energy held within these devices, nor can they explain the principles behind their ability to unlock and lock gates. A research lab? Aren't you a paleontologist? Well, a to take a rather dim view of those who rely purely on theory. That said, we often have to work with those blockheads from Spantamed all the same. Ah, well, that's all I can tell you. There isn't much else to be said with regards to the academia. Oh, I have a pillow right here. You can keep talking. You can keep going. Not that we'll understand or anything, of course. Oh, well, stop. I'll stop. I didn't form this exploration team to divulge all our secrets or something. Whatever the case, if we're able to find the gate that she spoke of, we'll be able to use this strange device to open it. Then let's go together then, shall we? Ever since you shared this new map with me, I've been left with the last section unmapped. I just thought that we could... Oh, sorry, you know. We could get it all done in one go. Uh, sorry. We can leave the map thing aside for now. Have you had close contact with that black muddy stuff at any point? Oh, I'm fine. The environment's just not sitting too well with me, you know? I mean, this is nothing for a true adventure. Nothing? Hey, you'd better wake up, you hear. You're the only person, I repeat, the only person on the whole team who has shown such serious negative reactions during this process. We have to send you up to the surface to rest. If we go now, there's still time. All right, all right. Don't look at me like that. Do whatever you want. It's not as if I'm your parent or something. Will you really be okay? Do you mind explaining? I'm telling you this out of the goodness of my heart. Don't take it for a reason to violate the strictness of the academia. I'm sorry. I cannot divulge the details, but she has to get some distance from the thing under the chasm. No, she has to leave the chasm itself. Wait, what? Come on, you're talking in riddles. Are you just annoyed that she's not well or something? She's very sick, yes, and if no one takes it more seriously, it will really be too late. All right, please, just stop it. I joined this team of my own accord. I'm not going to change my decision based on what others say. Yes, and I suppose that as an adventurer, your primary concern is the remuneration. If you're willing to leave, I'll make sure you're compensated. It'd be quite the generous package. The representatives from Liyue will understand as well. Sorry, I'll have to excuse myself now. The area Bren cleared out needs remapping. I shan't waste your time any further. Right. I'll head to the gate that I mentioned before. If that's where you're headed as well, we can meet up there. Why is only she having a negative reaction? And yeah, I'm calling her she because I, for the life of me, can't pronounce her full name. If I heard it pronounced, I probably could, but as is, I'm kind of stuck on how to say it, so I'm just abbreviating it. This kid is not to be reasoned with at all. You're being too harsh on she. Exactly. You were so curt and you didn't explain anything either. Is there any wonder that you ticked her off? <sighs> I just didn't expect she would have literally no concern for her life at all. You know what? Forget it. She can do what she wants. And then she'll regret it later and ask for help. That's how young people are. Always gotta take a hit or two before they learn. He's not wrong. 
What exactly is wrong with she anyway? What we're facing is, in essence, very similar to the anomalies on Dragon's Spine in the sense that their source is something alien to this world we know, and it involves the clash of two energies. And that is why we had to get you on the team, since you are able to manipulate the elements without use of a vision. For normal people like us, who neither have visions nor can manipulate the elements, these anomalies are malignant, even fatal. Those who've had close contact with the source of the anomalies may begin to lose touch with the world. Some will weaken swiftly and even... So she is in trouble. That's as much as I can say. Wait, then what are we supposed to do? Should we chase after her? It still doesn't explain why only she is having a reaction to this. It's her choice. But we can't just stand by and watch. We should at least try. Well, don't let me delay you either way. I'll leave you to your own business. There are still a great many secrets for us to discover down here. And if you meet she, please take care of her on behalf of the rest of us. And there we go. Okay, I gotta look at this key. Where's it? There we go. According to Kibdai's initial speculations, this construct may be a key that could open the door in the ruin somewhere. He took a picture of the strange wall of the chasm. And we got another one of these orb things, a strange gem left behind from a phobe of the abyss. If you look into it hard, it's almost as if you're looking into a long-born dream shrouded by deep fog. Again with the dreams. Okay. They brought them down here too. I'm grabbing this really quick. I'm gonna talk to the people here. Increase my... Adjuvant? Adjuvant. Adjuvant. Or... Adjuvant. Adjuvant. <laughs> why did it switch it to French? I don't know why. Um, phew, the swelling my leg's gone down. As has the pain. I should probably write an epic for Liwei's medicinal oils. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I've just been resting over here all this while. If you're looking for she, I believe she said she was going looking for some kind of gate. She said that she'd share the story of her adventure with me too. Just head over that way and you should find her easy. Yeah. I'll talk to these people, get my thing leveled up, and then I'm gonna take a quick break for a snack. Sorry for telling you all that. I won't take up any more of your time. We've got things too busy ourselves with, after all. And you, Jinwoo. Oh, you're here. Something's been wrong with Shi lately. I suspect that the tainted stuff that's affecting her mind and body. Redeem to hydrate. Thanks, I will. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then I'll be back shortly. Whatever it is, it's strikingly similar to the way which locals here 500 years ago described the Dark Calamity. But today, the Yakshas are a di distant memory, and Rex Lapis, too, has left us. I must admit that this is the most worried I'd ever been for the safety of us mortals. Sorry, I kept you back just to tell you all this pointless nonsense, but still. Never mind. You stay safe now, all right? Mmm. Would you like me to refine your Lumen Stone? Yes, I would. Next up. I need 27 things. Noise. Level four. Oh, I got a crown. I didn't even know this. Forgot that was in here. Um, energy to six. Let's go again. Level five. Enhancing will grate the following capabilities. Energy that can be stored has increased to seven. Blooming light's cooldown has decreased. Okay, not great, but. And Blooming Light can be unleashed, can unleash even greater energy to destroy level 2 oozing concentrations. There we go. How many more we got? 10. Alright. That should allow us to light our way a little bit better, which is nice. But since I am really hungry, this is where I'm going to split the parts and essentially redeem that hydrate. Go get some food and I'll be back in approximately um, 10 to 20 minutes. Alright. See you in a bit.